everyone and welcome to my new Dory paint video. You've seen of course already from the thumbnail that today I'm going to make the little red riding hood doll. But trust me, this video is going to be quite special. And first of all, because today we're collaborating with my mom again, but this is also quite a special collaboration, not like always I'm making the face, my mom is making outfit, nobody sees it. But like I told you already in my video last week, uh, in the beginning of November I spent almost two weeks with my parents trying to organize their some filming place, the studio for my mom and today we will be able to see for the very first time on my channel my mom's work in progress, how she's made an outfit and some accessories for this doll. But this is gonna happen in the end of this video, kind of in the second part, where the, in the outfit making part. And this is not the only special thing about this video today. Because there are lots of cool things going on lately. And first of all, the first thing is the week ago, my channel has got 200,000 followers! Can you believe it, guys? Me not, personally. I refuse to believe it. Because when you start your channel from zero and first you get your one follower, two followers, five followers, 25 followers, it's already a serious milestone to get. And then two years later you finally get up with 200,000 followers. It's crazy, guys. I, I just don't know how to thank you because it's all because of you. Thank you for all your trust in me, for your trust in my art, in my dolls. Just thank you for being with me. And it's also the Thanksgiving week, and it's also the Bad Black Friday today, and also another thing, my Instagram also crossed 50,000 followers the last week, and it's going really fast, now it's already almost 70,000. So, Guys, I think we have really more than enough reasons for a giveaway. <laughs> so, today I'm going to give away this golden doll that we've made a couple of weeks ago, two or three weeks ago, here on my channel. All the rules, how to enter and everything I will explain in the end of this video, but this is a worldwide giveaway, I take all the costs so approximately everyone can enter. But the details will be in the end because this intro is becoming a little bit way too long and I think it's time for me to take my pencils, to take a doll, to take acetone and to start the transformation. So watch this video till the end because in the end you, you're gonna see the first blogging vlogging experience of my mom and also all the details how to enter the giveaway and to get this one-of-a-kind Monster High doll made by me. So, let's go! And by the way, the idea of this makeover I've got when I saw this tiny basket for sale on our local market. It's exactly the same like big ones, but a Barbie doll size. So I just had to buy it and now we will make a doll to match the basket. For my repaint I will use this Frankenstein doll and it seems her previous owner was a little doll customizer. She has already removed her lipstick and we are going to remove all the rest right now. First her outfit, then I cut her hair very short and then I make her head soft with my hair dryer to be able to take the head off. You see now the head is very soft, the glue is melted inside and if I squeeze the head some of the short hair already just got removed from themselves and the rest of it I'm going to remove using my tweezers. Thank you. 
And I got lots of nasty glued hair like always. With a very sharp knife I cut off the pin from her neck and then with pure acetone I remove her makeup. Then I spray the doll with three layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant and I let each layer dry for 30 minutes. And now I'm going to change her skin color because I'm not sure if green is the best skin tone for a little red riding hood girl. And I'm going to use a nap to pick up the best color to neutralize the green. The app is called Color Lab and here in Harmonizer I find the color that matches Frankie's skin tone. And it means that I need to use this dusty rose color to cancel the green. To get this similar color I mix together pink and white pastels and then I apply two layers of the mix to the doll's face. And between the layers I use like always Mr. Super Clear sealant. After the two layers of pink you can almost not see the green skin color anymore. So now I want to apply also two layers of these light burnt umber pastels to create a natural pinkish light skin color. Now I think we have a very nice basic skin tone and before I start contouring the face I want to draw her eyes and eyebrows. And then with a little bit darker pastels I draw the natural shadows to give the face some extra dimension and to make it look more realistic.
Now I can take my pencils again and start working on her eyes, eyebrows and lips more detailed. And I begin with the eyelids. And now I can finally add colors. I'm going to give her green eyes and quite dark juicy lips. I sprayed my work with the sealant again and on the next layer I start drawing the highlights.
I still want to add a touch of cranberry color eyeshadows to her eyes. I don't really know why, but the little red riding hood story is happening in fall time for me in my mind. I don't even know if it, there is something about it in the actual story, but it's probably my own idea, but that's why I'm making some kind of a fall look today. With an extra sharp black pencil, I draw the bottom eyelashes and I also add the last details to her eyes. With white acrylic paint I add the reflections to her eyes and then I can let the head rest for a while because now I'm going to work on her body. First I sand it with nail buffers, then I wipe all my own fingerprints and other dirt off with an acetone-free nail polish remover, then I spray it with three layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant, and then I repeat exactly the same steps I took to blush her face. And now you can see how they all look together next to each other. The original body, the body after basic color correction, and the face after complete contouring and blushing. So now we still need to add shadows and blush to this body as well. Before putting the head and the body back together, I still want to make a wig for her using dark synthetic hair. I think this dark brown will give a pretty contrast next to her red hood. Now let's put the head and the body back together, attach the false lashes and add gloss to her eyes and lips. And now let's go back to this tiny basket you've seen in the beginning of this video. It's time to fill it in, I think. I cut a white towel to cover the bottom of the basket, and then using white self-drying clay, I'm going to make a couple of croissants and an apple.
I let them dry for 24 hours and then I color them with acrylic paint trying to make some more or less realistic looking food. And I also cover them with a layer of acrylic varnish. Do you remember the legendary camper I've assembled a year ago on my channel? I think I want to steal the two jars of jam from the camper to put them into the basket today. So and now let's put everything together. She has a tiny blouse decorated with lace. A black vest. A skirt. A white apron, also decorated with lace. A pair of white socks. And the red riding hood, of course. And now it's finally the moment of truth. My mom is ready to present her first workshop. Right now she will show us how to make a riding hood for our doll. And by the way, it's a really high quality red silk, we've bought it together with my mom and I've seen it with my own eyes, it had an Armani stamp on it, like on the side of this roll of fabric. So I can tell now that my little red riding hood had the hood from Armani.
I will also give her these black shoes. Anne also decided that our girl just cannot travel alone through the forest. So my mom has made a companion, a friend for her. They have very complicated relationships, but after all I think he just adores her and her croissants. And before I show you the final end result, I still want to explain you quickly the rules of the giveaway. You can enter the giveaway from today, from the 23rd of November to the 10th of December. And the winner will be announced in my Dory Paint video on Friday on the 14th of December. So the winner will get this doll right on Christmas, I think. You must be at least 18 years old and if you are younger you have to ask your parents permission because I will need to know your full name and an address to send the doll to a winner. Then you need to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button, put a like under this video and then share it in one of your social networks YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and what else is there. And then in the comment under this video you need to write I participate and your nickname on Instagram or Twitter. Then I will be able to contact you in case you win. And also please write in this comment how long are you watching my videos, how did you find me, what are your favorite doll makeovers on my channel, let's celebrate the 200,000 followers. The winner will be picked randomly from all the comments and this is a worldwide giveaway with free shipment, I take all costs and also just one entry per person is allowed. So good luck everyone and now let's get back to the doll of the day and let's see finally the end result. This one will be for sale today and I want to try to sell her not via Etsy like always, but via eBay. Because like this more people will get a chance to get this doll. Otherwise on Etsy my new dolls are sold always in 10, 20, 30 minutes and all other interested people are just too late, they have no chance to get one. So let's try to do it through eBay and see if it's gonna work better for you and for me as well. So the link will be here under this video in the description on the screen as well. And this was my video of the week, you've seen everything yourself and now it's your time to tell me what you think about this doll and about my mom's first YouTube experience. I will wait for you in the comments, so let's chit chat, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button of course, even if you're not entering the giveaway. And of course, please like this video if you enjoyed it, thank you so much for watching my doll repaints and see you already very soon in the next week Friday video, bye!